mode of action of tipranavir. The ability of HIV to infect cells is essential to its replication. Infection of a suitable host cell, such as a CD4-positive T lymphocyte, leads to integration of the proviral DNA into the host cell genome. It now contains the genetic information for the building blocks of new HIV virus, including two viral RNA strands and three viral enzymes, one of which is the HIV protease. The protease plays a key role in the formation of an infectious virus. Activation of the cell induces transcription of proviral DNA into messenger RNA. The viral messenger RNA migrates into the cytoplasm where components of a new virus are synthesized. Some of these components have to be processed by the viral protease, which cleaves longer proteins into smaller core proteins. This step is crucial to create an infectious virus. Two viral RNA strands, the viral enzymes, and core proteins assemble. This immature viral particle leaves the cell, acquiring a new envelope of host and viral proteins. The virus matures and becomes ready to infect other cells. Inhibition of HIV protease can stop this replication cycle. The introduction of peptidic protease inhibitors represented a milestone in the treatment of HIV infection. These types of protease inhibitor bind to protease via an extensive network of hydrogen bonds, resulting in the drug being attached to the active site. This blocks the action of protease, preventing HIV replication. Unfortunately, mutations in HIV protease occur frequently and may limit the use of current protease inhibitors. A change in even a few amino acids can prevent these drugs binding to protease, leading to broad cross-resistance. Therefore, there is a need for novel protease inhibitors with high potency and improved ability to overcome the diversity of mutations in the protease. Tipranavir is a novel non-peptidic protease inhibitor that displays the essential features of such an improved inhibitor. Unbound tipranavir displays the bioactive conformation more often than current protease inhibitors. Therefore, less energy is required for tipranavir to adapt its overall conformation to the requirements of the binding site. Tipranavir establishes a strong network of hydrogen bonding interactions with conserved elements of the protease active site that cannot be mutated without the enzyme losing its function. In addition, tipranavir makes a direct hydrogen bond with the backbone atoms of the isoleucine amino acids at position 50 on each subunit of the protease. All current protease inhibitors make this interaction indirectly through a water molecule expending energy to immobilize it. The release of this water molecule by tipranavir is an energetically favorable event. The direct bond to these conserved regions results in an improved binding of tipranavir to the protease. Finally, for current protease inhibitors, mutations in the protease generally weaken the bonding interactions. Tipranavir compensates for the impact of mutations in a thermodynamically unique manner by conserving and even enhancing these important contacts. As a result of these important features, tipranavir retains antiviral activity even against HIV strains with extensive resistance to current protease inhibitors. In summary, tipranavir has an improved ability to overcome the diversity of mutations in the protease by adopting the bioactive conformation more frequently. By establishing a strong network of hydrogen bonds with conserved elements of the protease, by binding directly to isoleucine 50, and by compensating for the impact of mutations by enhancing important contacts.
These characteristics contribute to Tepranivir's unique resistance profile and make Tepranivir an innovative option for the treatment of HIV disease.